Hey, Val. Did I wake you extra early this morning? Did you want to stay in bed? <gasps> oh, you had to get up with mummy today, didn't you? Let's say good morning together. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. Santa Claus, we're ready for you. I literally dragged this one out of bed this morning because I wanted to accompany. <laughs> she does not like getting up in the morning. Not used to it, are you, Blue? I'm not actually just saying this, but Bluebell actually is the last one up out of bed. And I feel like that's a little bit uncommon for a dog. I th Do you know what? I thought the dogs tried to rush out of bed because they were like excited to start the day. Bluebell just flipping loves our bed so much she would lie there all day if she could. You're a big old lazy, you are, Blue. <laughs> Anyway, good morning everybody. It's Thursday today and I am half asleep so I apologise for the sleepiness of this clip. I've got up extra early because we're going to Amsterdam tomorrow and I've got quite a lot to sort out before we go. I also need to get through and finish yesterday's vlogmas and get it all uploaded and scheduled. So that's why I'm up even earlier than yesterday and yeah. Just thought I'd say hi, good morning. Do you know what I think I'm gonna make this morning? Because I haven't tried it yet. If you saw our come Christmas shopping with us when we went to Home Sense, this gingerbread coffee, I feel like it's it's time. I feel like I need it this morning. So I'm, I think I'm gonna have a go. Let's put you down and try out a gingerbread and I'll let you know what it's like. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Let's see if this is a good one. Oh, do you know what? That is quite nice. The only, the only thing I would say, and I am admitted defeat here because Niall will laugh when, well, he's not gonna watch my vlog this, but if I said this when he was here, he'd, he'd laugh because he doesn't like these coffees. But they do all taste quite similar. I do feel like that tastes quite similar to pumpkin spice and it's supposed to be gingerbread. I don't know. But you know, it's still nice to have that little festive, Hinge underneath. I need to shut my fridge because it's having a fit. It just has has an absolute fit if you leave it open. There you go. Calm down, hun. <laughs> anyway, I've set, I've got a little setup going. I've got my tree lights on, which I'm really happy about, and I've got my editing ready. And I've also got nativity on. Got my gingerbread. Got my babies all snuggled up. He snuggled. I'm surprised you're being so sociable this morning. I've wrapped Bloob in this blanket too because I feel a bit bad that I've made her get up with me. <laughs> she looks so tired, look at her face. Are you tired? It's all right. Guess where you're going today, Bluebell? Are you going to Granny's? Thank you very much. Oh, she knows her Granny's name so well. We're going to go to Granny's later. Your third favourite person in the world. I can't believe that. It's 20 sleeps. Twenty sleeps till Christmas. Niles up, feeling fresh. So we're gonna do advent calendars together now. Let's do. <laughs> the amount of yeah, times. My vlog, my Nilemus vlog. Get yours too, then we'll vlog at the same time. So we're gonna do advent calendars all together this morning before we get moving. Blue Bell, do you want your advent calendar? You know what that is too, don't you? <laughs> I've only her eyebrows moved. The only thing is, I, I've got Reese's. Cups as an advent cat as an advent calendar. I don't really wake up and feel like a Reese's cup right. Do you know what I did the other day? In the morning, what? Do you know what I did the other day? Put it in my porridge. Yeah. And it melted. How is that? Uh, try it. Don't hate appreciate. What has Bluebell got? She's got Bluebell's a Bluebell's got Lily's kitchen. Lily's she loves kitchen this. who do dog treats. Do they do anything she's else? She's got bed yeah, yeah, just loads of like dog food and they're a massive dog. Right, we'll do Pop first because Pop's got a bad leg. Okay. Right, here you go, Pop. Catnip flavoured treats advent calendar for cats. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? I'm going to take she these to my mum so that they can do it while we're away. Oh, yeah. Louie, you've got a bedtime biscuit today. Oh. You shouldn't be eating that now. Oh, it's so cute. Right, it's our turn now. I don't want mine now. I'll have mine. You can have yours in the evening, can't you? Got a low back. Right, I'm, I'll open mine then. Let me get my camera. 
Let's open them together. Oh, it's a white one today. Someone said the other day they didn't know they made them. And then in the bauble, what bauble do we have today, Bluey? Bluebell literally loves advent calendar time. Look, she's getting right in there. Oh, we've got a spotty one today, Blue. Look. It's a bauble for our baby tree. Let's have a quick look at the cheese. Do you know what now? These cheeses have got cheese jokes on the side. They're quite funny. I was reading them yesterday morning. We've got a Jarlsberg today. What's that? Why didn't the cheese want to be sliced? Because it wanted to be whole. Because it had greater plans. I don't get it. Greater plans. It was going to get grated. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Does anyone else hate when you have muesli and 98% of it is raisin? Literally. I remember when I was a kid, I used to take them out, but this, this usually takes the biscuit. <laughs> There's so many raisins in here, and that's with, like, I removed some before. There wouldn't be anything left if I remove them all. Where are we going? We're going to the gym, mate. Who we're going with? Me. When are we going? No. <laughs> when do we want it? No! <laughs> so we're just about to head to the gym together. We're going to do legs today and I've left on <laughs> I've just left on this black and white Christmas film for Blue to watch while we're out bless her I don't want her to be sad that we're leaving you have a nice little time you watch the Christmas film I'll be back we are actually in quite a manic rush though because when I get back I need to take Poppy to the vets to sort out her leg because we've discovered that it's not well I, I kind of thought that it was because she was limping a little bit if you saw vlogmas day one. I thought she'd maybe bruised it and just fallen somewhere. But last night we discovered that there's a little cut there. And I rang the vets this morning and explained the situation. And they said they think that Poppy's been bitten by a cat. Because it's really common to get a cut there in the shape it is. On like her bum slash leg. <laughs> so she's going into the vets. We need to rush. And then what else are we doing? I need to go to the post office. I've got lots of boring things to do today. Need to start packing. Need to take the pets to Wales. It's manic. The manicness shall begin. But I'm going to leave you to watch a Christmas film. But I'm going to take you to my leg workout. Niall's going to film for me because we're going to do it together. And yeah, that's the story. Bella Mori. Look at Niall looking. Oh, where was she? She was about to go hide under the bed. Oh. She oh, she looks so bed. cute. We can't have you hide now, Pop. It's nearly vet time. Put her in here, shall we? The worst time in your life. I believe it's Christmas. It's cold outside, but I'm warm within. Cause Christmas time is here. We're at the gym, and for once, I. Oh, we're out of focus. I actually feel brave enough to talk because he's here with me. Mm. <laughs> Usually I'm too scared because I feel like people would think it was a bit strange while they're doing their squats. But we're currently doing some squats. We are. <laughs> um, so we're on set four now. How many sets are we going to do squats? Two or three more. So that's about six or seven sets. I don't know why we're doing this, but I'm not a big fan of squats, but Niall is. And then I think we're going to go into hip thrust. Apparently Bulgarian split squats. This is more of Niall's kind of leg workout. I prefer slightly different things, but it's good to, you know, mix and match and do variations. And Niall's filming for his Instagram. So we've got lots of filming. I just did a little treadmill circuit too, which I filmed, which you'll see on my Instagram if you follow me on there. I post lots of workouts on there too, but obviously during Vlogmas, when I'm working out, I am usually filming, so I like to get in my fitness stuff where I can. Anyway, I'm gonna go into set number four, over here, right now. Children playing in the snow a merry game they play Chasing each other to and fro Laughing all the way Oh, what a jolly time To have the whole family here For a few days of love and grace But when Christmas has gone It'll be another year Christmas 
has gone. It actually was on a Christmas Okay, that trip is done. And this is the conclusion. Oh, she's not going to enjoy this. So basically the vet's confirmed that Poppy has been bitten on the leg, which is horrible. And I feel like the worst part is gonna be this cone for her because Poppy's very adventurous, as we know. And she's not gonna be able to be adventurous with that. She's not even gonna be able to get under the bed. Oh look, she's, oh look, she's stuck. Pop, you've gotta get used to it, but it'll be all right. You don't need it for too long. We just don't want you to lick your cut. Oh, oh, you've gotta walk round, okay, like this. There you go. She's got to have some antibiotics and then hopefully it will be all right and she can go back to being unsociable mice killing. Oh, oh, she's stuck. Pop, you just got to get used to, you've got a bit, bit of a bigger head at the moment. Oh, bless. I'm just glad that she's going to heal now because last night when we realised that it was a cut, we couldn't get it to stop bleeding and we had to like try and sort her out quite late at night and I was really worried that she was just going to bleed a lot. Let me come, let's put you on the bed and then you can just chill out, have a snooze. Then we'll go in the car to Wales and we'll be with Granny soon and then you can just, just take this week as a relaxing week. <laughs> Blue Bab, I've got you a present though from Pets at Home because... I don't know, you just get in a present. <laughs> oh my gosh, though, literally, if you go to pets at home and you have a dog, they have the cutest, oh, I'm out of focus, the cutest sprout outfit. I would have got it blue, but they didn't have a size, and that was sort of sad, but I picked up these two things for her because a lot of Bluebell's jumpers now are a little bit too tight for her. I think you put on weight, hun. <laughs> so um, let me show you the two little bits I picked up. So you can get festive with me, Bluey. We have this little Santa Claus harness, which I think is absolutely adorable. How gorgeous that, love it. And then we also have this little reindeer jumper, cause she had one last year, but now it's too small for her. And Blue does actually get very cold. She always kind of shivers in her back legs when she's getting cold. So she actually, I'm not just doing it for effect. It does actually help. That's why I, I kind of was like, with the sprout outfit, it's cute, but this actually will get good use. So it was kind of a sign, I think. Which one do you want? Blue came on the vet trip too, because she was supporting her sis. Current situation is, I'm trying to check us in for Amsterdam tomorrow. I'm trying to eat my lunch. And I also really want to edit what I've got of this video so far, because then it'll speed me up tonight, because I need to start like packing and I probably won't get back till late. Although I might do most of the packing with you tomorrow morning before we go, we'll see. But yeah, current situation, trying to do lots of different things at once and I don't want my food to go cold. And my foot's moving while I talk. Stop that. I am so frantic. <laughs> I'm literally so frantic. I need to go. I want to say hi, but I literally have no time and I'm really sad. Because basically I'm trying to avoid rush hour traffic. And I'm trying to get there in time between my mum's clients at home. Bit of a mission, but we're going to do it, aren't we, Blue? Blue's right here. There she is. We need to put your seatbelt on. And then pops in the back in a little crate with a with a coat on. She's not enjoying life. So yeah, I just wanted to say hi. We're off to Wales. We've got about a two-hour drive now, and I'll probably have a catch up with you when we get to my mum's, and maybe we'll say hi to my mum together. Well, I definitely will say hi to my mum. Well, that'd be a little bit weird. But yeah, I'll see you probably on the other side in Wales. I've got no snacks, so I'm really sad because I I I don't know about you, but I literally love to eat while I drive. I can just snack and snack and snack. Oh, do you know what else I've discovered that I have to tell you before I go? Magic radio station works in my car. I know my car's really old, so I was saying in two vlogs ago that I don't get the Christmas radio station. Someone told me that Magic plays Christmas music throughout. I've got it, I'm so excited, literally. I just turn on my car and Christmas music starts playing. And I just feel like there's something a bit more authentic about having a radio station do it rather than plugging my phone in and playing Spotify. So thank you to you who told me to listen to Magic because you've made my car journeys fabulous. Anyway, 
I'm gonna love you and leave you. I will see you in Wales. I'm probably only gonna be stopping for about 45 minutes in Wales before I head back here. So it's not, it doesn't get too late because I wanna just, I, I just get a bit travel anxious. It's not that far to go to Amsterdam, but I still just get a bit hectic in my brain that I wanna make sure everything is ready to go to travel because I don't want to forget anything. Right, I'm gonna go because I'm just blabbing. Well, that was probably one of my least favorite drives I've ever had, literally. <laughs> It's now half past six. I left at half past two and usually it takes two hours. But I think I just literally caught all the all the rush hours <laughs> in all of the areas of the motorway. And I'm a bit sad because I've missed my mum now because she's now gone out to play squash and she's not going to be back probably before I leave. So I feel a bit sad. I feel a bit lethargic because I've just been sat down for four hours when it was supposed to be two. I'm hungry. I'm sad because I'm leaving the pets. I'm a bit stressed because of traveling. I just don't feel great right now and I know things could be a lot worse and I don't need to be complaining and moaning about something like that but I just feel a bit meh you know <laughs> it wasn't a fun drive at all was it Bluebird and I felt so sorry for these two because they didn't really like drives that much and obviously because Pop's got her cone on her head <laughs> I was like, oh, this is a disaster. But we're here now, which is what's important. I just feel so tired and I just don't really want to travel back. But my mum has actually very kindly left me out. <laughs> Do you know what? She texted me and she was like, I watched your vlogmas and saw that Niall said when we were in Home Sense that he thought that my mum had got us chocolate Christmas decorations for the tree. <laughs> but she actually hadn't. But then because she saw that, she said that she would get them. <laughs> so she's got us some. Um, chocolates to put on our tree which is nice. You know what, I might actually see what's in her fridge because I am flipping hungry and I feel like I need, ooh, she's got something baked here. <laughs> Let's see, ooh, what is that? What do we think this is? Because I can't tell. I thought it was going to be a pasta bake but it doesn't quite look like that. It looks savoury so we may have to eat some. She did say that I could raid her fridge because I think she felt sorry for me. So I think I may have some of that. I don't know what it is. And she'll probably have some chocolate somewhere. Let's find some chocolate, shall we? But I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cuddle these two for a little bit longer, eat some food, and then head back because I don't want to get a late night because I'm feeling a bit drained from the past few days and driving like seven hours in a day. It's not that fun. I think I might have one of these, you know? Anyway, sorry to be a little bit of a moany, moany myrtle. This is exactly what I need right now. A warm, homemade, just comforting meal. Do you know what I think she's made? I think it is some form of veggie lasagna. And she's used this weird root vegetable called a celeriac that she's... What are you looking? You look in the air. <laughs> it's called celeriac, I think, which... Um, Kind of looks, no it tastes like a parsnip but it smells like celery, I can smell it. So I think she's put it in here, it's a new thing she likes at the moment. <laughs> but it smells lovely, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a taste, hang on. Oh yeah, that's nice that is. Blue's come to join me in a new reindeer jumper. I'm gonna miss you bub, I'm gonna miss you. Don't forget me for three days please. Upon a long ago, the Bethlehem star must have shown the way that led you to home. Look how cute our lights look! I love them so much. It's just such a nice thing to come home to. I am so happy to be home. Literally so happy. Although it does feel very strange in the house not having the pets. I really, really would hate to live life without my pets now. I, I don't know if anybody else who's an animal owner agrees. It's just so odd. Then I literally, I was, <laughs> I was sat getting bits out of clothing to pack tomorrow. And I, I literally thought I saw Bluebell walk around the corner of the door. It's so odd because you're just so used to them just popping out and just walking in with a little wag or Poppy just sassing her way in. It's just so odd not having little things moving around your house, but I really miss them and I actually hate being at home without them, so I'm really excited to just go now. I did have a little burst of excitement on my way home in the car while I was listening to Christmas music and thinking of being in Christmassy Amsterdam tomorrow. I am really excited now. 
So um, yeah, I'm just so glad to be home and not driving anymore. Today's been a bit of a weird day to vlog because it's just not a very interesting day at all. So I hope you don't mind. But obviously we're going to have Amsterdam now, which is going to be fun. And, and obviously it's just life. Not every day is interesting. Yeah, I tried to make what I could of the day into vlogmas but yeah we're home now and um i've just been sorting some bits out for tomorrow which i will pack properly with you in the morning i've now set up camp in here which i'm very excited about because i'm gonna watch riverdale in bed and do you know what else i've got a cup of tea and do you know what else i've got a bowl of curry <laughs> Such a random combo, I know, but Niall made some curry and he left me some to have when I got home. It's now like 11 o'clock, which is a bit of an odd time to eat curry, but I'm still a bit peckish. So I thought, you know what, let's just do it and have a cup of tea with it, why not? Also, this came, hang on, hang on, let's go in here because there's better light. So I ordered a jumper in the Black Friday sales and I thought I'd open it with you. It's one of these big chunky knits, which I, <laughs> you've got a great view there, haven't you? I love chunky knits. Look at this, it's so nice. It's like a peachy pink. Also in really bad luck, there we go. Why didn't I put you there in the first place? How nice is that? So I think I'll take this to Amsterdam because I feel like I'm gonna need it. I just thought I'd open that with you because left outside in the shed by the delivery man. Good old Hermes. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna watch Riverdale and actually I'm probably gonna finish off here, you know, because, whew, Oh, I packed my head. Because not much more is going to happen in my day. I'm just going to be here in my little camp. Oh, do you know what? I just said to Niall, though, it feels so nice to just sit in bed. I don't really do that very much. When I was a student, because we only had bedrooms, we didn't have a living room, I spent so much time, like, chilling on my bed that it, I think it was a bit weird then when I went to bed. It took me ages to go to sleep because I think my mind registered the room as just, I don't know, a chilling room. Do you know what I mean? I feel like that doesn't make sense, but it did in my head. <laughs> I feel like now I never really, you know, sit in the bedroom at all. And I really want to do that again because I just love chilling in bed. I'm watching stuff on my laptop and I just never, ever do it. So that's what I'm doing tonight. I haven't got a little Blueby to cuddle though, which is really sad. And I really miss her. And I really miss Pop too, but I know that they'll have a lovely time with Granny. So yeah, thank you so much for watching Vlogmas Day 6. As I said, I'm sorry it wasn't like the most exciting day in the world, but not every day is exciting. And I spent most of the day in the car. So <laughs> literally I was talking to my friend Bri earlier. She was like, what are you even vlogging today? Like, how are you even vlogging? And I was like, I don't know Bri, literally don't know. I'm just blabbing to the camera when I can. <laughs> anyway, I will see you tomorrow and we'll pack and we will head to Amsterdam together I think we'll have a bit of an airport vlog we'll just see how we go but one thing I will say I am really enjoying filming vlogmas this year I'm absolutely loving it I haven't felt stressed I haven't found the editing annoying or like you know invasive on life and I feel really still involved in the moment as well as with you on camera so yeah I'm really enjoying it and thank you so much everybody who's watching along so far I really hope you're enjoying it and I literally sit and read the comments before I go to sleep every night and give them all a bit of a love heart. So if you want to leave a comment, please do because it's it's just the best. I love Vlogmas. I feel like this is the best I've ever felt about it and in other years I found it quite stressful and a chore and this year I haven't found that at all. I'm really just enjoying just doing life you know not not doing anything exciting sometimes just sitting in a car sometimes anyway thank you so much for watching i will hopefully see you tomorrow for vlogmas day seven seven's my lucky number so that's a good sign it's gonna be a good vlog i really wanted to end with niall but i don't know where he is niall 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 <laughs> no comment I wanted him to say bye to you too. Oh well, we'll see him in the morning. You'll see him throughout Amsterdam anyway, so maybe it was quite nice that we spent most of today just me and you.